Hey guys. So today I want to talk about dealing with people who make you angry. And there's a lot of people with different viewpoints, whether they be right, whether they be wrong, whatever the case. A lot of times people become triggered and frustrated because they, someone doesn't understand their point of view or want to understand their point of view. And the thing is, is nobody can make you feel any certain type of way. It's up to you on how you feel and to be strong in your beliefs and what you understand to be true. So the problem is, is that when you take an orange and you squeeze it, orange juice comes out. And if you hold on to that anger and you squeeze it, you get more anger. And if you hold on to frustration, you're going to squeeze it and you're going to get more frustration. Sadness, if you focus on the sadness, you're going to get more sadness. And that's an energy that we're going to attract more of if we focus on that. So the way that you can deal with this is let's just say that um, somebody does something to you that makes you angry. Somebody, uh, let's say, set your house on fire. It's pretty traumatic. But the thing of it is, is when we're in mind-heart coherence, we can't hold on to that energy. So when the brain and the heart are in synchronicity, you can't hold on to that frustration, that fear, and that anger. It's just not possible. So when you take deep breaths and you focus that energy and you become heart-centered, no matter how scary or painful or challenging it is, we become conscious and we can make rational choices and we understand that you know every everything that was promised to us from God will be delivered so you know when that happens and you breathe and you get focused and you become heart centered and you're still angry just keep doing it and just keep doing it and eventually once you have mind heart coherence no matter the situation no matter how painful scary or challenging it is it goes away and, and, and let's just say, for instance, you know, sometimes we have certain family members that's hard to get away from. And, you know, we need to get away from that energy of anger because we don't want to attract more of that. And you need to love yourself first. So sometimes it's a good, if you, if you can't escape it and you can't get away from it, sometimes it's good just to distance yourself for a while and, and, and start to refocus yourself so that you can influence others. Because when you hold that energy yourself, you have the power to influence others. So just know that you cannot give love out unless you love yourself first. So you have to take care of yourself first and then others can come second. All right. So remember, it's mind heart coherence. It's all just an approach. And when we focus on being present and being conscious and being caring and loving, and we focus on heart centered, no matter what happens, you're going to attract more of the good and the bad things will become less and less.